Hi everyone, this is Hello Angel of Design. Today we are making a baby blanket. Please support us on all social media platforms. Subscribe to our YouTube, Hello Angel of Design, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, Pinterest, Hello Angel of Design. You can also support us by giving us stars on Facebook and also support us by giving us super thanks or buy us a coffee. You can also support us by sharing our video to your friends and loved ones and to those who really want to watch how to make kids clothing or a blanket for their little babies that is just coming to the world. And let's get started. When you are making a blanket for your friends or for your loved ones or you're making it for yourself, make sure that you have pure cotton wool. So this is 100% pure cotton. You are making yours, you can buy 100% pure cotton, but if you don't have enough money to buy 100% pure cotton, you can also buy the other kind that most people use but I am using 100% pure cut so make sure you have this and make sure you have your fabric ready and this will be my lining so I'm using this for the lining and this is my May fabric so let's put the blanket together for my May fabric you can see that my May fabric is on fold I fold it into two I measure 50 centimeter by width the length is 90 centimeter. When you are taking the weight, make sure that your fabric is on fold. If your fabric is not on fold, that means you're going to take a measurement of 100 centimeter by width and 90 centimeter by length. And when you are also cutting your lining, so this will be the lining, you are also going to cut 50 centimeter by width and the length is 90 centimeter. That means your fabric is on fold when you take 50 centimeter by weight. If your fabric is not on fold, that means 100 centimeter by weight, 19 centimeter by length. So this is how I cut my two fabric. And I also have this fabric right here, which we are going to put together and I will show you how to put that together. 50 centimeter by width and the length is 12 centimeter. I will put all my measurements on the description box below, both inches and centimeter. So those who are using inches will be able to cut their fabric out and those who are using centimeter will be able to also cut their fabric out. First thing that you have to do, you take your May cutting fabric. I'm using the cutting fabric to put all the measurements so that it is more easier because if I'm using this fabric, this fabric is kind of slippery. So I will use the cutting fabric. You are going to do, you fold your fabric into two. My fabric is folded to two. You take your arm hook curve whatever that you are using. You can use arm hook curve, you can use your dishes. Just go ahead and use my marker and mark that out. Once you have done that, the next thing that you have to do is to take your scissors, you just go ahead and cut it out. So you are cutting the board fabric at the same time. I have cut it out, this is how it is. You can either also repeat the same process on this other four corner edge. But for me, I am not going to repeat the same process. I'm only covering this top out. I will leave this just the way it is. This will be the front of the blanket. This will be the bottom of the blanket. The next thing that we have to do is to take our main fabric. We are going to place our cutting fabric on our May fabric. So as you can see that I have cut this side out, I haven't cut out the May fabric. I will show you the purpose why I haven't done that yet. So what you are going to do, open your fabric like this. So this is inside my fabric. I'm going to place my cutting fabric on it and then pin everything together. I have placed my cutting wool fabric 
under my May fabric. This is how it is when you are putting them together. Make sure that the back of your May blanket is facing your cutting wool fabric. So you just pull them together. You can see excess right here. Once I stitch it together, I will go ahead and cut out the excess. So what I'm going to do, I am going to take my pin and I will pin it all together. Once I am done pinning, I will take it to my sewing machine. I'm going to stitch very close to the edges of the blanket. I have secured with stitches. This is how it is. The next thing that I'm going to do, I am going to take my scissors. I am going to cut out the excess of the cutting fabric. All you have to do, take your scissors, go ahead and cut it all out. I have cut it out this is how it is the next thing that we have to do we are going to take our lining and place it on top of it so when you are placing your lining on top of it you open your lining like this this is the front of my main fabric this is the front of my lining make sure that both front fabric are facing each other so what you are going to do go ahead and pin it all around the blanket i have placed my lining on top of it and i have secured with a pin and this is the center point of this blanket i am going to place my measuring tape at the center point of this blanket and i'll measure down 10 centimeter from this other side i'll measure down 10 centimeter so we are not going to stitch here we are, this is where we are going to turn it inside out. So what you're going to do, take it to your sewing machine, stitch it all around and end on this other side. Remember to leave a gap. I have stitched it together. This is how it is. This is the May purpose. I did not cut out the corners of the May fabric because if you cut out the corners of the May fabric, it might not come back even. So the best way is for you to cut out your cutting fabric, curve it out, and then you can place your cutting fabric, take it to your sewing machine and stitch it. Once you have done stitching, you just take your scissors, you just go ahead and cut it out like this, which is more easier. So what we are going to do, I am going to trim a little bit out from my seam allowance. Once I am done trimming it out, I will put my hand inside here and turn it inside out. I have turned it inside out. This is how it is. I take it to my ironing board. I just give it a good press. This is how it look once you have done that. And this is my open gap right here. I just use the pin to secure the open gap. What you are going to do, take it to your sewing machine and stitch it all around. Once you have done that, the next thing that you have to do, this is the edge that we curve. So what you are going to do, you take your measuring tape, you place it at this edge. You're going to measure down 30 centimeter because I am going to quit a little bit of this fabric. So you measure 30 centimeter and then you take your ruler, you just connect it down. You can see my 13 centimeter ends right here and I will place my measuring tape again like this and I will measure down 30 centimeter. So make sure you do the same. Once you measure it down 30 centimeter, you take your ruler, you connect the mark together.
I have connected my mark together. This is how it is. I connect from this edge right here. This is 30 centimeter. From here to here is 30 centimeter. And from here to here is 30 centimeter and to the other end. So what you are going to do from this edge right here, you measure down 30 centimeter, just the way we did before. You just repeat the same process. And from there, you also measure down 30 centimeter, connect all the mark together. I have connected all my mark together. This is how it is. What I'm going to do, I am going to use my pin to secure it together all around. I have stitched it together. This is how it is. Once you have done that, you can see the beautiful finish. This is how it will look. Take it to your ironing board, give it a good press. The next thing that we have to do, we take this other fabric. We are going to pull them together. So you pull them together like this, both front fabric facing each other. You go ahead and stitch it all around. Once you have done stitching, take your pin, turn it inside out, take it to an ironing board and give it a good press. I have stitched it together. I just turn it inside out. So what I'm going to do, I put the both front fabric together like this and I will top stitch and I will fold it again and top stitch because I'm going to use French seam to overlock the raw edges once i am done with that i will cut my elastic and then we can stitch elastic around this fabric i have stitched it together this is how it is i use french seam to overlock it the next thing that you have to do is to cut your elastic so what you are going to do you fold your fabric into two so that you know the center point of your fabric. So this is the mid part of my fabric. And you also repeat the same process with your elastic. Pull them into two and then you know the center point, what you are going to do. This is the crease line. You place your elastic like this, both center facing each other. And then you just go ahead and stitch it all the way down to this other end. When you are stitching, make sure you stretch your elastic. And then you come to this other side, you stitch it all the way down. When you are stitching, stretch your elastic. Once you have done with that, I will show you the final look of my blanket.